At this point, I'm going to go briefly over citations and bibliography. In Word 2010, there's a feature uh, where you can utilize Word to keep track of your citations and generate a bibliography or a works cited page automatically. The way it works is that uh, as you are doing research, as you're typing your paper, you can go throughout your document and you can uh, enter your sources. And then when you're done with your report, then you can create a document or a page in the very end with all your references. You go and first pick the style that you're using. So if you're doing undergraduate work, you'll need to choose the MLA style. And then once you have picked the style, you select the text that you're going to cite. And then you click on insert citation. So then you click on add source. And then you specify as to where what your source is. So if it is a website, these are the fields that you need to fill in to document and to cite this source correctly. If it is a book, you change it to book and notice how there are different fields that you'd fill in. And if it is, let's say, a journal article, you know, this, it gives you the new set of fields. And then if it's, let's say, from a conference, how do you know how to cite it, uh, an article from a conference? You'd uh, pick this one and it will tell you what fields you need to fill out. Uh, there are all kinds of guidelines and, and uh, ways to document the writing style for MLA. And this is a very good resource, the Purdue Online Writing Lab. It gives you all the different details on how to abbreviate, how to document and cite different resources. And the feature here in Microsoft Word is supposed to simplify to make it a, li a little bit easier for the researcher to be able to keep track of all the citations and so on. So in this case, let's say that this is an article from a web. You'd go under website. You'd put in the author. If you know the author's name, the author's name would be usually listed on the article. So in this case, let's say that this is the article that you're citing. So the author would be Elliot Harmon and Jim Lynch. So you'd go back to Microsoft Word here and then put in the authors. And then we add the second author and then click OK. Name of the website or uh, of the web page, you basically just copy the URL, the year. This is the year when the article was published, the month. Now you also need to document when you accessed it and then click OK. So basically you're taking the details here from the article and then stating also the day when you access this article. So then we click OK and this has been cited. You'd say, why would I want to do this long way like this? The reason is because the system will actually keep track of all of these citations and you can it will generate the table of contents eventually and also it actually will create the works cited or bibliography page and also it will allow you to reuse those resources if you're writing and citing the same source again. So now we go somewhere else in our document and let's say we are going to cite this section here and let's assume this is from another book and then we click on insert citation, add new source, and then we're going to say this is a book. Under the book, we give the name, add the author's name, then the title, the year when it was published, city publisher, and then click OK. So at this point, we have the publishing dates for Sims. Now in MLA, you also need to put in the the page number of that book. So put pages 55 through 57, and then click OK. 
and that is cited correctly according to MLA, to the MLA format. So again, the way that I did that was by clicking on this down arrow and choose edit citation and then put the pages. Now at this point, let's assume these are the only two sources that we are going to have in our document. Then we go to the very end of our research paper and then we add a new page here. So we go under insert blank page or page break. Page break would probably be best. And then we go under references and then we choose bibliography and then choose either bibliography or works cited depending on what research you are doing. Then click on works cited and notice that the sources have been correctly cited. Now if you are to add another source here or another book or another something else then you can just simply click on add source click OK and then if you go back to the very bottom here under works cited and then click on update citations and bibliography that will add that new record to the works cited and then sort them correctly and all that type of stuff if you wanted to manage the resources or those sources that you are citing, you click on Manage Sources. And these are the ones that are in this computer at this point. Those on the right hand side, those are the ones that are being used in this research paper. So that's what the advantage of using the Source Manager is that you can have those stored for the future for other papers and other research projects and you don't have to re-enter all that information all over again. So it's a great tool to use in research. It makes it somewhat easy to know and to cite those sources properly, making sure what needs to be italic, italicized, what data needs to be entered and all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm.